I'm back, it's a new year, and for the past couple of months I've been playing catch up for all the movies that came out in 2013 that I didn't see. So here's a quick rundown. The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smug, A++. American Hustle, B-. Saving Mr. Banks, A+. Gravity, A++. The Wolf of Wall Street, A++. Captain Phillips, A-. The Butler, A++. And Prisoners, A++. Though I haven't seen 12 Years a Slave yet, but hey, that's all I can get. As you can see, I got a little Lego theme going on in here. So the Lego movie is about the Lego world, and in this Lego world is this Lego dude voiced by Chris Pratt. He finds a special piece, and then Lego Morgan Freeman tells him that he's the special one to bring peace to the Lego world. One thing leads to another, and then he gets wrapped up in this super awesome adventure. Now, was this movie good? You betcha. One of the things I like about this movie is it takes us through all the different Legos and pop culture references like they do today. Seriously, they have Legos for every franchise. They have Legos for Marvel, Justice League, Harry Potter, Indiana Jones, Pirates of the Caribbean, Ninja Turtles. But personally, my favorite, and because I was at the peak of it when it first came out, was the St Lego Star Wars. In fact, I have a little Lego Darth Vader, as you can see. I used to play with the Space Legos, and then the 1997 Star Wars Special Editions came out, and then I thought to myself one day, you know what, it, it would be real cool if they made a Star Wars themed Legos. And then a month later, boom. Well, I we get Star Wars Legos, and then they just started coming up with different Lego themes. Back to the actual Lego movie, they didn't show as many Lego themes, but it was nice that they at least addressed it. Because let's face it, we all play with Legos at least once in our lives. I like the animation in the movie, but I liked it because they made it look like it was stop motion, even though they didn't use it, but it would have been real cool if they did use stop motion like they did for Lego Studios. Yeah, you ever use that? Because I did. Now, among the fact that Legos is what drives the movie, it's still a pretty solid story that you've pretty much seen before, but done differently. But then the last 15 minutes of the movie happened, and it left me... Wow, that was a really good movie. When I saw that Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 100% rating, I was like, what? But no, after seeing it, I can see why. Seriously, it's like the last 30 minutes of the movie was written by a different person. Alright, I'm going to sum it up like this. The first and second act of the movie, it was pretty enjoyable. Then the third act of the movie, it really hits you where you live. So in the end, the Lego movie, when you watch it, it may feel enjoyable, but then the third act happens and you will feel like, thank God, we are not in January anymore. And anyone that's been through the month of January of bad movies, trust me, this movie will feel like a bit of fresh air. Now. Now, initially, I was going to give the movie an A-plus for full price, but I have a feeling that as the movie ages and as I think about it more and watch it more, it's going to get better. Nothing pleases me like a good animated movie, and the Lego movie is an A++. That's it for today. You like what you see, you want to see more, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to my other channel. The links are in the description below. Also, I have a new website. I put the link in the description as well. And be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. Peace. I got this at Lego Land and Disney World, so Lego covered my name on it. Let's see. <laughs>